It's that time of the year where the colors are changing, the leaves are falling, the air is turning brisk. So that means I want chili, but I want chili with crackers. Crackers? He loves crackers. I loved crackers before keto, yes. Yes. So I'm going to make him some chili and crackers today. I'm a lucky boy. Yay! Let's get started. I've already browned one pound of ground beef, one pound of ground pork, and two tablespoons of olive oil. Next, we're going to add one medium chopped white onion, one green pepper, and one stalk of celery. We're prepping our items today in our new Cuisinart countertop burner. Let's go ahead and add these ingredients, and we're going to do that for five minutes until the onions are translucent. Now this is done, so we're going to transfer it over to our slow cooker. On to the ingredients into the slow cooker. We're going to do one can of Rotel diced tomatoes, a half a cup of salsa, one tablespoon of minced garlic. Got to get it all in there. One tablespoon of white wine vinegar. We like our chili a little bit thicker. We're going to start off with a half a cup of beef broth. However, we might be adding more to it. Now that we have it mixed, I'm going to add a little bit more beef broth, about a half a cup. Now on to the chili powder. You can use a store-bought chili powder. You want to use one packet or you can make your own like we do. Super simple and it's in the description below, but it's going to be a mixture of paprika, cumin, onion powder, chili powder, and cayenne pepper, but don't tell Bill. We're going to mix this up and put it in our slow cooker for six hours on low. It's looking good. We're going to be making simple keto crackers. So the ingredients we're using today are a half a cup of mozzarella cheese, one third cup of almond flour, one large egg yolk, one eighth teaspoon garlic powder, and just a dash of salt. Let's make some crackers. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Combine the mozzarella cheese, almond flour, garlic powder, and a dash of salt. We're going to microwave this for 30 seconds. And let it melt. Now we're going to mix the ingredients until they're blended. You want to knead it like dough. Remember, we are just using an egg yolk, and we're going to put that into our mix. We need two pieces of parchment paper, your dough, <laughs> flatten it out, and we're going to roll it very thin. Remember, we're making crackers here. Remove it. Let's cut some crackers. Try and get them in a one inch square. And in a moment, I'm gonna have an assistant that's gonna do the most important part of this recipe. We're back and here's my handy assistant. The most important part of this recipe is to put the holes with fork in your cracker. This just prevents your cracker from uh, making a pillow. Sort of like a pizza docker in a way. Yes. 
I would really not want to do this for a full pizza to sit here and do this by hand. It's not fun, and that's why I have a pizza we docker. To. We used to do it that way. These are going to be good. They are. So your oven is preheating to 425. You're going to put this on another piece of parchment paper and bake it for about five to six minutes or until golden brown. Look, Ma, I can cook. So I'm just spreading these out a little bit so they have a little bit of room to bake. Now into the oven. Our timer just went off and now we're gonna take them out. Here's our finished product. The hard part is waiting for them to cool. It's been six hours that our chili's been cooking on low in our slow cooker, and now we're ready to eat after it's been taunting Bill all day. Yes, it has. It smells wonderful, and the house has smelled great all day long. I can't wait to try this. Now, the recipe, the macros, and all the items we used in the recipe are available in the description below as well as on bonsaikido.com. So our chili is done. We've got it in a bowl. Actually, I have it in my little mug. This is somebody I do a website for, fireandclaypottery.com. And uh, Jim and Terry make these. They're all custom, one hand, one of a kind handmade. And I absolutely love them. They make large handles, which fits my larger hands perfectly. So nice to have this soup mug. And we've got our little crackers that we made. And I'm going to like live taste test this. So there's my cracker. Here's my chili. A little sour cream. A little bit of, what is this, cheddar? Cheddar cheese. Cheddar and a little scallions on top. And I'm going to taste it. And I hope I don't burn my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it on the cracker. That'll help cool it down a little. I hope he likes it. Oh my gosh, that's really good. That's wonderful. <clears throat> oh, that's good. If you'll excuse me, I would be eating some chili tonight. Yay! Now, the state doesn't really care for chili too much. I don't. But um, since I had asked her for it, <laughs> she uh, said, sure, well, and then uh, I said, you know, I really miss crackers. So she did her best to make me up a cracker, too. Yeah. They're not crispy like a cracker, but they're good. Oh, it, it was a nice vessel for the for the chili. I mean, it was a, it was <laughs> nice to just set that on there and then uh, take a bite of it. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. Okay. Thanks for joining us. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button or hit the notification bell so you know when we have new videos coming out because there's going to be many. So it's subscribe and hit the notification bell, right? Because oh. if you hit the notification bell and you oh. haven't subscribed, that's not going to do you much good, is it? Didn't know that. Guess not. <laughs> hit the subscribe and notification bell. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>